Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Installer's Assistant. My name's Marty and today I'm going to show you a bit of a testing device for finding out uh, which wire is for your reverse trigger. Now you're going to need this if you're doing backup cameras in your car or parking sensors and you're not sure which wire to tap into to tell the vehicle or tell the radio that you're in reverse. Um, sometimes you can find it at the front of the car, sometimes down the side. Every car is different. But if you're really having trouble finding it, you can always get it at the tail light. So, in this example I'm using a Honda Odyssey. And I know that I've got an indicator there, reverse light here, uh, brake and tail in the middle. And I've already taken this side apart so you can see what's going on. And I'll put a towel around it because you don't want it sliding down and scratching the bumper. Alright. Now I know that this is a duplicate of that side, so I have indicator, reverse and brake. This is the one that I want to access. So I need to know when this light bulb comes on and send a wire to the front to tell the radio or the camera or whatever it is I need that that light is on. If we look at the back of it, you'll see the same basic thing. Indicator, reverse, brake and tail. So being reverse light, it will be white, which it is which means there are two wires to power. One's a common and one's a trigger. Typically, but not always, the common wire or the earth will always be black, but like with anything electrical, never ever assume that just because it is a color, it is doing a job. All right. Okay, so I already know this, but this green wire with the black trace is my reverse signal. And I'm gonna show you how to test it. So I'm just going to bear back this wire a little bit. Okay, and I have a volt probe. Uh, this is my LED one, it tells me the voltage, positive and minus, that kind of thing. But uh, it's really good for testing signal. So, if I probe that onto my wires, you can see there's no power coming down. Alright, that's obviously not going to stay in there. So, we'll hop in the car. Turn on to ignition and pop it into reverse. Now if we come to the back of the car again, we can see my reverse light is on and that same wire I now have voltage. Now just to confirm, we'll pop it out of reverse and into neutral. I can see the reverse light is out. I'll retest it, nothing. So that is a really good indication that that particular wire, in this case, green with the black stripe, is the reverse trigger. So now I can solder a wire to that one and run that all the way to the front or patch it into my parking sensors, which hmm, this car doesn't have yet. So there you go guys, bit of a tip. Uh, it's the easiest way to find reverse. Uh, like I said, some cars, Toyota's are really good for having signals up the front, uh, Nissan's, it does vary. So have a look at the front, if you can find it, great. Sometimes you'll find the same colour, the green with the black trace in this case, up the front. You can go down the, the door sills, sometimes you find it there. Um, in the kick panels, both sides, uh, remembering that this is a right hand drive car, so for instance it might be on the driver's side, and on the left hand side drive, it might be on the left hand side but it might also be the wiring's the same, but they just put the steering wheel on the other side. Who knows? Always, always check it. And don't assume that just because it's one color at the back, it's the same at the front, because obviously there are only so many number of colors available to us and so many number of stripes. Somewhere along the line, they're gonna double up. So once you've found it, you know that's the right one. You can always spend 10, 15 minutes at the front probing those colored wires at the front of the car and seeing if you can match it up. Another thing to watch out for is just because it's, in this case, green black wire this side, when it goes through the plug into the car, a lot of times it'll change colors there as well. So this could be a universal um, harness. On the other side, it might go from a green and black to green and red, or it could be a yellow and a blue, it could be anything. So if you can get to the other side of this plug, that tells you the color it's going to be for the rest of the run. Okay, uh, any questions, by all means, shoot me a message. Uh, for more tips and videos, please subscribe, click the notification button, and I'll keep posting as I get more information for you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.